Welcome back everybody to another Wasteland Weapons Breakdown. Today we have some energy weapons. Now this one has been told to me that it is not dissimilar from an Institute pistol and then it has this big boxy front piece, right? Um, so I can see that for sure. Uh, let's take a little closer look at this. Um, so you see you got circuits in here and one of the boards just kind of flips so there's circuits inside. Right, and you got these wires here that go to some very specific components, right? I don't know what this is. I'm gonna call it a uh, a compensator or some kind of energy level reading or some shit. Um, this does come apart because of this right here. Let's flip it so you can see. So this is how it's mounted on this side. Um, this can come off and this can come off and I can unscrew this and I could build a whole different thing for it. And a friend of mine suggested that I do a, uh, one of those, uh, the radioactive pistols, the, uh, I can't think of the name right now, but, uh, you know, with the, with the, with the dish on the front, with the dish, you know, the dish. Um, let's see what else we got. We got a little front sight here. You see, you can kind of do some aiming here with that little box right here. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, we got these running into some of the internal components. Uh, this was a 3D printed from, I believe, the Liberator pistol. Uh, it was a gift to me that I used to construct the rest of this. These, these have a really cool, uh, really a really cool use in that they uh, hold the pistol together. <laughs> and look, they're like loose. But they, they just give a little bit of a, you know, just hold it in place a little bit. Next one. Next one is unfinished. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it, but it's just the way that it is right now. This one, this one hails from New Vegas' Old World Blues DLC. The Sonic Emitter. So I'm still working on this one. You can see where I kind of took the most defining features and uh, applied them here. Uh, this here, so you got a little AA, or what is it, yeah, AAA battery pack to kind of, uh, you know, emulate the look of the, uh, the ammunition that it carries. Uh, these, these are painted Lucas containers. <laughs> Um, see, flip it open, pour a little out. Uh, so the one thing I got to do is I got to kind of weather the, the metal a little bit. Um, you know, maybe with like a black wash or something. Um, there is no trigger on this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's something that does have a trigger, and it's this. I forgot about this little, little trigger right here. See if you can hear it. Anyway, back to the sonic emitter. No trigger yet. Uh, the, the, honestly, the hardest part that I'm, that I'm running into here is um, doing something for this area back here. I have it all planned out. I just don't know how to print it to the to the proper scale to uh to I don't know. I have I kind of kind of gave up on it, but I'll come back to it. Like I said, this is a pretty big work in progress, but all the major parts are there. Do you see what it looks like if you're aiming it? Actually, there's no recoil, so it's just you know, woof. <laughs> Cuz you got the dog. Anyway, um so this is what it looks like this way kind of pretty pretty similar to the game I'd say that's pretty similar to the game overall um, next we have my favorite little piece here this is my favorite y'all remember the metal blaster from Fallout 3 right Fallout 3 well this is the metal blaster junior look at this I think I've displayed this in some shorts before but we're gonna take a closer look at it here Look at that. So you got so you got some dials here 
One is to uh, change the spread, and the other is to change the power, right? Because you want to be able to set it to stun or whatever. Um, um, and okay, so here's here's the design principles here. So this is uh, kind of not dissimilar to the way that they put those little grips on the full-sized uh, laser rifles. So what this used to say here, this used to say, you can kind of still see it, Metal Blaster Jr. on it. Um, but it's just been a while since I, I probably should refresh the tape. But like the problem is, you make the tape dirty, you make the text too hard to read, you make the text too hard to read, then you need to like redo it in that sense. So I'm just kind of leaving it like it is. Let me show you some of the other cool features on this gun. This, check this out. Anybody recognize that? That's a Wiimote nunchuck. <laughs> Look at that. Um, and then, so this has one more really cool feature to it. And that is the ammo. Uh, this just sends a little charge to the gun to jump it to say, hey, you're able to shoot. So you can tuck that in there like that. And go. Not unlike the hammer on a revolver. Uh, so that's, that is what this is based off of, is like a snub-nosed revolver. But it's like in a, uh, it's an energy weapon. And it's a parent, it's a child of the metal blaster, which is a, what's the word? Um, I'll just call it a take, a spin-off of the regular uh, laser rifle. So it's all there, it's all there. Um, and this, this is what capacitizes, capac it, um, it, uh, passes the, uh, energy through, you know, so, it, anyway, I don't have any more weapons, but I do have this to say, I want to tell you about one of the perks I took when I was a little baby, one of the perks I took was the four eyes perk, and guess what, filming these videos without my glasses really sucks, because I can't see shit, um, so, I'll probably opt to wear my spectacles, even though they don't look as wasteland and look as cool, but I'm respecting my own body and my own vision here. Um, and not want to be blind, because I just ran out of contacts. Uh, I have one set left, and that is for when I shoot the next music video for, um, for a song that I wrote called uh, Natural Thought, which will be up. I'm going to post the album, or like, it's not an album, it's like an EP, it's just like three little songs, but I will post those soon, uh, sometime after this comes out, um, okay, so, well, thank you for sticking with me through the updates, and, um, I think, I think that's all, I think, wait, that's all we have to talk about.